Using an AI meta description generator like Writer or others can be super beneficial, save you a ton of time and come up with all sorts of really creative results. But there can be some drawbacks, mostly that AI content detection is starting to be rolled out by Google and they're flagging content that's written by AI as low quality. So before we get into that, let's take a look really quick at how Writer works, how you can get signed up for free. Well, you don't even really have to sign up, but how you can start using it for free to generate meta descriptions. And then we'll talk about what to be careful with in terms of AI content detection. So if you come to Writer, I'll leave a link for all these tools in the description below where you can get uh, started. But basically, you just click Start Writing. It'll have you enter your login information in here. And then after you've set up your account and logged in, I think they give you like 5,000 words a month or something for free credits. And with meta descriptions, it doesn't use a lot. So all you have to do is create a folder or document. Uh, let's just create a test document here. And then from here, you'll see we've got editing tools at the top. We can expand, shorten, reword, append. We can essentially have this thing do all sorts of stuff. But first, if we come over here, I think it's at the bottom, SEO meta description. What I like to do usually is actually have the meta title created. So I'll just, um, let's use the uh, term that we're talking about today, meta description generation how to generate effective meta descriptions. So I'll use this tool to generate the meta title first. And then I'll come over here and go over to meta SEO meta description and then just paste the meta title in. And boom, there now you have three options for meta titles and meta descriptions. Create a meta description for your site to get found in search. You need to think about how it will be read and what people will see. So these are some great ideas. I might summarize these together into something that uh, is going to work more perfectly for our specific situation. You know, the whatever page or article or post or product it is on the site. That being said, this is AI, so it's not going to be perfect because it's not a human writing this. But what's in, in What's interesting is how close it'll get to what is, you know, re really effective for an AI meta description, or not an AI meta description, but a meta description in general and a meta title. And then, you know, the, the hardest part of creating meta descriptions and meta titles is coming up with the ideas and getting, getting something on paper. Once you have something going, then it's pretty easy to, to edit and get it dialed in. And... This just helps remove that step. So by using a meta description generator and even a meta title generator, you can offload a lot of that heavy lifting that your brain has to do in order to come up with these ideas and then just focus your attention mostly on getting it dialed in. Now, one thing I will say, as we were talking about earlier, is that Google has started, Google and other search engines have started using AI content generation uh, detection or AI content detection and there are tools that we can use to see if if our meta description is going to be an issue so if we copy this meta description that was created and come over to originality.ai which I'll leave a link to down below uh, but basically just put your content in here and we'll need a little bit more apparently And then we can scan it and see if it thinks that this was written by AI or not. And if it was, then we might want to think about tweaking it. So it's saying it's only 11% original. And that's because we just took what this had created. But this probably isn't something that I would use for SEO. I would probably combine these together in some shortened form and try to maximize the you know, limited number of characters that we have for the meta description. But that's basically it. If you want to use meta description generator like Writer, just 
be sure that you're checking to make sure that it's passing AI content detection because you don't want your page to get flagged just because you used a meta description generator that uses AI content models like GTP3 or something similar. So I hope you found that helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of you know, generating meta descriptions or AI content detection or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with your online marketing anymore <laughs> and you'd rather just hand it over and have somebody take care of it for you, or if you really just want to talk to somebody and get some pointers, um, let's connect. I do offer consulting. I have different uh, services I can offer to help you grow your business through digital marketing. But yeah, feel free to check out my website. You can come on over to TravisWilkie.com. Here's how to spell it because it's kind of funky. Uh, but you can come check out some case studies, see the results I've been able to get for my clients over the years. And uh, if you're interested, we can connect. I'd love to help you out. If you can't tell, I love helping business owners grow, especially when it comes to digital marketing. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.